Hey, what's up, everybody? After that's Crush back with you here once again. And again, it's Cardio Confessions time. So this week, I want to cover something that I'm not sure if I've covered before, but I think it needs to be said. We just passed the one-year anniversary of the death of Rich Piana, and it got me to thinking. It got me to thinking about a lot of things. Um, mostly about your, your, your personal worth. You know, what you're willing to go through, what you're willing to sacrifice to reach your goals. And taking ownership of your actions. Now, a lot of people will say, well, I, I, got, I got this to do, I got this to do, I just don't have the time to put into this item X that I'm supposedly passionate about, so I, I, I just don't know if I can do it. Readjust your thinking. For instance, let's take what kind of drove me to this was watching old Rich Piana. Rich Piana had what's called the 5% mentality, which is doing whatever it takes to reach your goal. And if those of you don't know what the 5% mentality is in depth, I think we're going to be able to condense it down to a pretty simple way, basically the same way Rich was saying. Only 5% of the population is willing to do whatever it takes. We all have these things that we want to do in our lives. We all want to be able to just kick back every night, have a beer or two, play like two hours of video games, read a book, do these, do these self-pleasure things, things that make us happy in the short term. And then we think of long-term goals as more of a burden. And we need to stop seeing these long-term goals as less important than your short-term goals. Now, a lot of people don't want to hear that. A lot of people don't want to don't want to hear someone saying, "Oh man, well, that that means I can't watch Jimbo Fire X play Minecraft for two hours every night." That's a want. That's not a need. You know, when you really stop and think about it. Doing certain things in your life are wants. Now, finding a passion in your life is where your wants connect with your need. And so many people have that, they already have that, but they see that long-term goal as too much of a struggle, or they see that long-term goal as something that is off to the back burner. I can do that tomorrow. I mean, I, I like doing it, but I can do it tomorrow, or I can do it next week, or I can, I can, I can, and I, I can't today. I, I can't today. We need to readjust that mentality. I, I readjust that mentality to, I can today, I will today, and I must today. I can, I will, I must. I see so many people in my everyday life, people I've worked with in the past, and people that I even see on just a regular daily basis, seeing that their long-term goals are to be sacrificed for their short-term pleasure. And I've done it in the past too. I think we all have at some point. Like tonight, I wanted so badly <laughs> just to go to bed. <laughs> it's, it's been a rough couple of weeks at my job. And I would just love nothing more than to just lay back, kick back, watch some YouTube, and just bark it all out and go to bed. The current time in my gym right now is 4.09 a.m. Normally, I'd be asleep by now. But, 
I've been getting this, this kind of itch in the back of my head and it's kind of like, like, okay, you spent too many nights in the past couple of weeks saying, I'll do it tomorrow and setting things off and putting things off. But one thing I did uh, the last couple weeks was I signed back up for school. And in that, in that moment, things kind of sparked up for me because I'd always thought I'd get back into school, but I just didn't know when because I wanted to advance my career. I can was there. I will was kind of there, but I must was lacking. And then things just kind of snapped. It's like, I have to do it. I have to do it. I have to do it, not just for me, but for my wife, for our future. I can, I will, I must. It's that kind of mentality that has to seep into the back of your head. The kind of mentality has to seep into your soul. It has to hit something for it to activate. Just like I have to be here. I have to be here putting in the work. I don't know what I'm working today. It's just been like a week and a half, but you know what? I'm here, I'm putting in the work. I can, I will, I must. They say that an action becomes a habit after 30 days. Why can't your day one be today? Why can't your day one exist in the present? Why can't your day one be staring into the mirror and having this, this epiphany in yourself to say, you know what? I was gonna watch PewDiePie or whoever on YouTube. I can still do that while I'm on the treadmill at the gym. So many people, I wish I could just go back to the gym and start working out again. I wish I could do this. Well, do it. Pick yourself up, even if you're going to Planet Fitness. And I've stayed in my disdain for that place for years. But you know what? If that gets you up off your ass and into that gym and pushing even a little bit of weight, do it. And that goes for anything. That goes for any action that you want to do in your life. I can, I will, I must. Anything that you can take away from this video today. I can, I will, I must. You know, this little quote that's kind of been rolling in my brain for a little while. And for those of you who watch wrestling, you know this quote. In this life, there's a such thing as evolution adapt or perish you can adapt and evolve into a better human being or you can perish in your own laziness and never grow never change never become that better person that you've always wanted to be and in this case evolution sure as hell is not a mystery it's staring at you right in the face and that's what the five percent mentality is all about taking your opportunities, taking your shots, doing whatever it takes to reach a goal. Check you guys later.